The early pioneers who delved into the mysteries of human origins were not mere scholars. They were global explorers and daring adventurers. They trekked across continents, unearthing ancient bones and stone tools, all the while harboring curiosity about unexplained creatures, hidden hominids, and elusive primates. The late 19th century and early 20th century were in many ways the golden age for scientific inquiry into human origins. The study of hidden and mysterious primates during this era was regarded as a fully legitimate scientific pursuit. From Cryptozoology Museum, cryptids are either unknown species of animals or those that are thought to be extinct but which may have survived into modern times and await rediscovery by scientists. As we shall soon see, these trailblazers such as Eugene Dubois, Von Kay, Franz Weidenreich, and Johann Andersen left an indelible mark on our understanding of our own evolutionary journey. For decades after Darwin published The Origin of Species, the scientific community had what could only be described as ape man fever. Anthropologists, explorers, and adventurers of the era were obsessed with finding the missing link. The frantic search for the missing link resulted in some intriguing consequences, including the infamous Piltdown Man hoax that spanned decades. Homo erectus man was discovered in Java, the Dutch East Indies, in 1891. A skull cap, a tooth, and a femur bone were excavated by a team led by Dutch explorer Eugene Dubois. Despite Darwin's prediction that human origins would be found in Africa, the discovery of Java Man redirected early paleoanthropologists' focus towards Asia and Melanesia. Anthropology.net, a main player in the early debate about the locality of human origins, was Ernst Haeckel, whose own estimations of comparative anatomy situated the roots of humankind in Asia, not Africa. It had been Haeckel's writings that inspired the young Dubois to set off on his Indonesian adventure. China soon emerged as a vibrant hub for paleoanthropology research with its accessibility and modern amenities. China also had a largely favorable political climate for Western scholars during the early 20th century. In 1916, a Swedish explorer team led by geologist Johan Gunnar Andersen discovered ancient bones and stone tools at a quarry in northern China. Anderson was in China to prove that man originated in Europe and that all of mankind, including Asians, descended from the European man. Anderson's initial discoveries eventually led to Chinese-led excavation teams discovering live skulls and bags full of postcranial fossils of Homo erectus. More to come on Johan Gunnar Andersen. The search for mysterious primates in Asia. For centuries, tales of giant apes lurking deep within the jungles of China had abounded. As a young man, Dutch anthropologist Ralph Koningswald 
embarked on a quest to discover evidence of early man in Asia. During his time in Hong Kong, he stumbled upon ancient primate teeth at a pharmacy that also sold dragon bone. Over the next two decades, Konigswald dedicated himself to substantiating the existence of Gigantopithecus, a creature that had previously existed only in myths and legends. Alongside his friend and colleague, Franz Weidenreich, Von K collected ample fossil evidence of Gigantopithecus, primarily teeth, but also some skull fragments. They collected their evidence and published their findings in 1946. By the 1960s, the scientific community was convinced by their findings and officially recognized the species Gigantopithecus. A primate species once dismissed as mere folklore had been confirmed through the diligent efforts of two courageous and persistent paleoanthropologists, Weidenreich and Von K. In 1927, Peking Man, Homo erectus, was announced. Von K. and Weidenreich were at the press conference. Weidenreich and the Japanese invasion of China, World War II. Franz Weidenreich was a German Jew who had fled Nazi Germany right before the Holocaust. Weidenreich heroically preserved the cast of the precious Peking Man skulls just days before the Japanese invaded mainland China. He was also an ardent Asianist, rejecting the African model and asserting that Sinanthropus, Asian erectus, was the true ancestor of modern humans. More to come on the life of Franz Weidenreich. Modern day Indiana Jones confirms King Kong orangutan was real. Russell Siachon is a mild-mannered anthropology professor at the University of Iowa. But on his off time, he's a swashbuckling Indiana Jones explorer trekking across Asia in search of mysterious hominids and primates. Siachon has been involved in some of the biggest hominid discoveries in Asia and Melanesia, including the Hobbit Man and Giganto. Siachon has had starring roles in numerous crypto primate documentaries. Siachon on the History Channel, quote, Gigantopithecus was the largest ape that ever lived, end quote. After years of research, Siachon and a team of scientists from Australia determined that Gigantopithecus was a subspecies of orangutan. They determined that the species may not have gone extinct, but instead migrated south and hybridized with lesser orangutans in Southeast Asia. Giganto orang hybrid alive in Sumatra. For decades, villagers in southern Sumatra had reported sightings of giant red-haired ape men living deep within the forests. In 2017, a team of explorers from Australian National University ventured into the forests of Sumatra to investigate the claims. The explorers captured video and other evidence of a red-haired ape in the Botong Tulru forest. In 2019, scientists announced the discovery of a new species, the Tapanuli. AnimalFacts.com Tapanuli's unusual characteristics, frizzier hair, 
smaller heads, and flatter, wide faces compared to other orangutan species suggest it could have separate origins. Mystery Apes of Southeast Asia In the early 1980s, Sia Chon led an expedition to Vietnam to the Long Trong cave system near Ha Long Bay, only 100 miles away from the border with China. Sia Chon made many of his decisions regarding prime archaeological sites from old journals authored by von Koliswal. Sia Chon, based on research from a joint American-Vietnamese expedition into the jungles of Southeast Asia, our study of the origins of humankind theorizes that human beings evolved in tandem with a species of giant ape. Researchers discovered numerous ancient panda bones and two Homo erectus teeth, which were later dated to 45,000 years ago. Meanwhile, the Vietnamese team had also uncovered Gigantopithecus teeth from the same time period. More recently, Xia Chon has been in China, helping Chinese anthropologists to solve the puzzle of the Long Go Po fossils. Chinese archaeologists originally believed the fossil represented Homo erectus. Then they changed their hypothesis to Gigantopithecus. Quote, In light of new evidence from across Asia and Java, I am now convinced that the Longu Po fossil does not represent a pre-erectus human, but rather a mystery ape, end quote, Russell Siachon. Melanesia, Hidden Hominids, and Mystery Apes. RealClearScience.com, an ancient legend from Indonesian island of Flores, a mysterious wild man the Ebo Gogo, according to folklore, such tiny hairy people roam the tropical forest eating crops and even human flesh. Homo floresiensis was discovered in a cave on the island of Flores in 2003 by a joint team of Australian and Indonesian researchers. Smithsonian the fossils date 300,000 years ago to 100,000 years ago. They stood approximately 3 feet 6 inches tall, had tiny brains, large teeth, no chins, receding foreheads, and relatively large feet due to their short legs. Colin Gross, a British anthropologist, is regarded as one of the key co-founders of cryptozoology. He was friends with Richard Leakey. He conducted the analysis of a jawbone discovered by Leakey, KNM ER992. He ultimately declared it to be Homo ergaster. In 2003, Groves, along with another famous paleoanthropologist, William Jungers of Stony Brook University were called in to examine what appeared to be hominid bones in a cave on the island of Flores in Indonesia. Groves and Jungers, two cryptozoologists, declared the new species Homo floresiensis. Chris Stringer, quote, a creature with a brain the size of a chimpanzee's but apparently a tool maker and hunter. Its very existence shows how little we know about human evolution. I could never have imagined a creature like this living as recently as this." End quote. Tim White, quote, Little folk from Flores, they are so different in anatomy, but so close in time. Darwin would be pleased. End quote. Bernard Wood, Nature 2017. Colin Groves was an old-school whole animal biologist. 
A few weeks before he died, he was co-author on a paper that presented cogent evidence for a second species of orangutan on the island of Sumatra. The species cryptozoology co-founder Groves had been working on the last few months of his life, Giganto Tapanuli. Numerous enigmatic species, including hominids and other primates, previously believed to be extinct or relegated to legends and myths, have now been scientifically confirmed to exist. And more recently, reports of another enigmatic species in the jungles of Indonesia. It could be the fabled Orang Pendek, an entirely new species, or a late surviving Denisovan. More to come on this channel on mystery apes, late surviving hominids, and other unexplained cryptoanthropoids. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.